Hey Brews, welcome back to my vlog channel. Anna, can you munch any louder? I'm doing it. Welcome back to my vlog channel, Annalisa's Glam Life. This is going to be the start of hopefully a new series on this channel where I just upload weekly vlogs. I really love vlogging for you guys and posting on my channel, but I feel like I'm always just editing and stuff on my main channel, so I don't really have time to just dedicate a full day to vlogging. So instead, I'm just going to film my week and upload weekly vlogs. So today, Keely, as you just saw running in the background, is working from home, which is always really fun. I love when Keels works from home because we get to hang out. And so we are going to head to the post office. I need to return some items. It's from the um, Amber Shoal collection that I, I would have uploaded the review by now. I'm basically returning everything but this bodysuit because it was okay, but I just knew I wasn't going to wear any of it. So I am keeping this though, which was super cute. We finally moved in Killy's bed. Killy and I have been sharing a bed for the past eight weeks, but yesterday we got a new one. Can I show them? Ta-da! Yay! It's not done yet. We literally just got it last night, so this is all we have. None of the rooms are done. My room isn't done. Nothing's done because we're very busy people, but at least we don't have our own bed, so we feel like full adults again. Alright, so in my car, my aircon doesn't work and my radio doesn't work, so we have the windows down and headphones in because we're living the high life, Addie's glam life. So we go to my PO box and I was so nervous because I had a flyer that said that like I had to um, show my ID and sign for something, a letter, and the last time that that happened, it was when my identity was being stolen and it was a court summons, so I was so nervous, I started to panic and Kelly's like, stop, you're going to manifest something bad, like it's going to be fine. I was so worried. I go in, it's temporary tattoos that I ordered for my Halloween video. It's post Malone. She's opening it and she's like to me, Keely, it's always something bad. <laughs> and then it, we just see the temperature. She's like, it's post Malone's tattoos. Never mind. Oh well, I was panicking. Uh, for good reason. I feel like that's a good reason because I did have all of that happen in the past. Yeah, but you know, it's not the past. It's just a letter. Yeah. You're going to get many letters in your lifetime. Oh, I'm not mentally prepared for that. I just went and got my hearing tested again because basically I can never hear anything. Whenever anyone's talking to me, I don't know what they're saying. Keely can agree. I can never hear anything, can I, Keels? Yeah, she can't. Keely's cooking her skin off because she's an amazing cook. We're having slag bug. But yeah, I can never hear anything. And so I went and got it tested the first time. They told me I had early stage hearing loss. Went back a second time, told me I had perfect hearing. And then this third time, they said that my hearing's gotten worse, but it's still like not concerning. So now they think that there might be something wrong with like the audio processing part of my brain. This person's now gonna go away and research it and like look into what could be wrong with me and let me know. But I'm just like, ugh, I don't have perfect hearing. This is like a classic night. Oh, what did you do? Ah! We just cleaned the kitchen! <laughs> no! <laughs> this is a difficult night for us. We have dinner together, we watch the new office, and then after we finish dinner, we'll put on a movie and eat popcorn. This is like, we were saying the other day that we get on really well as like housemates, and it's just because we act like a married couple. morning lately I have been manifesting so I started off today also my voice is a little raspy because I just woke up but I started off today by writing out <clears throat> everything I'm feeling in my journal I do that pretty much every day and oh I had a lot of feelings today it was all about like relationships and all that jazz because I think I've been ghosted by someone so I was just writing it out and came to the conclusion like through journaling that if it was meant to be it would be and now I feel so much better which is why I do this every day and I also like in the background play my manifestation playlist that way I'm just in like the right mindset for it all. We're taking a break during the work day to have some popcorn oh, and we're watching the Kardashians. Yeah. And we're watch in the office there's this one scene where Andy makes popcorn and it's like all seeds. I always make the popcorn in this house. Sorry, no pre- Oh! Uh, That's not my fault. Uh, oh, of the course bag's so. <laughs> Oh yeah, sure. While we're watching the Kardashians, we're talking about who we think we are most like. I think that Keely is definitely Scott Disick. Who do you think you are? Uh, no, I realize I I'm just perfect and everyone else around me is the problem. Yeah, that's something you would say. Who do you think um, I am though? Probably. The other day, Kelly said. Kylie, I oh, guess. Good. Just like, just... I like that. Yeah, the other day, Kelly said Caitlyn. I was offended. <laughs> you do have Caitlyn followers. Caitlyn killed someone. Hey. Do you want to explain why you're in the top? It's hot. Yeah. My brain hurts from the vaccine, man. I can't think properly. I didn't have it this week, but my brain hurts too. <laughs> my wife feels it. So I feel. Uh, no, they're gonna think we're dating. Are we? Who knows? Oh. Um, for another time. For another time. Tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we've marked the wall, kill. <laughs> You've marked it. I did. It fell and I You did that it. one, so I don't know what happened to that one. You I don't know what happened. No, I don't know what that mark is for. Well, we'll cover it with the thing. Ah, good idea. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it here. 
Well, hang on. Let me, let me, let me. Don't just stick it. <laughs> let me. <laughs> A little more left. Okay, and now it's not, you're not holding it straight. The left side up a little bit more. There. God, that was stressful. So crooked now. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crooked. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> At this point, you're just going to get what you get. That looks nice. I'm glad. Amazing. looks amazing my issue is I now have all of this from my old place because like I had an entire apartment worth of stuff I don't know what to do with it all but I think for now that looks really nice like I love how that looks oh that has really brought the room together Billy recently bought us a coffee machine and my life is forever changed for the better it's amazing but I now want to water because I'm trying to cut down on my coffee I was having way too much it was giving me anxiety so I'm trying to only have one a day but we'll see with my job I have to be like high energy when I'm filming and stuff so I do kind of drink coffee to give me that edge but I am doing my makeup now I've just I've like done some of it already because I'm filming some TikToks today and some reels and some Instagram content because for those I feel like a lot of people don't understand like how social media works but I get paid to make content so that is what I am doing today also that girl that I thought ghosted me didn't ghost me so that's some really good news um I just got foundation on my tight where is my beauty blender why am I always losing literally every I'm literally losing my mind where is my beauty blender where is my beauty blender mercury being in retrograde I am over it I like just used it I don't know what the heck I've done with my beauty blender sorry I'm just using my old one but anyway Ah, so I went out drinking on the weekend. It was a really good weekend. I really enjoyed it. But yeah, I usually don't go out that that much. I only went out that much because I really thought we we're gonna go into a lockdown in Brisbane because we had um six cases, which is a lot for us, but we didn't, luckily. So um yeah, so anyway, point of that story is is that like obviously my immune system is a little bit run down from a big weekend of drinking, and then I got the vaccine, so I'm just trying to like give my body like these essential oils to hopefully help it get through you know i really loved like so on the weekend i went to a lot of um gay clubs so in brisbane the main one is the beat where i obviously went if you're in brisbane you know the beat so much fun the only thing is is that <laughs> all lesbians in brisbane know each other and i hate that I think it's just the thing that like all lesbians know each other in general, but like in Brisbane it is a hard core. So that's the good and bad thing about going to these gay clubs. It's like good because I always know I'm gonna see people that I know that I haven't seen in a while that are always like super fun. But also everyone knows your business. Everyone knows your business. Even if you don't want them to, they know. Everyone knows. Everyone just knows everything. Adding concealer here is my new favorite thing because obviously Oh, I thought I just found the beauty blender. I don't know. <laughs> this is driving me crazy, you guys, because this week I've not only now lost my beauty blender, I lost my eyebrow, uh, my eyeshadow brush, and I just don't know where it's all going. It's a small apartment. It's a small room. I do makeup here every day. Where is everything going? I'm over Mercury being in retrograde. But anyway, I love doing this bit of concealer here. I feel like it's really helping to define my cheekbone and my jaw, and I just love it. Ta-da! This is the finished makeup look for today to film some TikToks with. Also, I found the beauty blender. Uh, <laughs> I kind of broke it by accident. I do my makeup sitting on the floor because that's what all the hot girls do, right? And what do I need a vanity for? And um, look, I accidentally got stuck in between the grooves here and I've ripped it. And it's actually Keely's beauty blender, so I'm going to have to buy her a new one of those. But I am now going to film some TikToks and I've got it all laid out, ready to roll. All the outfits, got it all planned, so I'm keen to just smash them out. I have finished all of my work for the day and Chuck is so happy! So happy! Okay. Did you say about yourself? Alright, Keely's home and we're making dinner. So we always spend like every weekend together but this is the first weekend in how long? Three months? Four months? Four months. Four months that we're gonna be apart. Three, two nights, three days. Yeah. Well, yeah, it'll equal out to three days almost. Yeah, Keely's going to the Sunshine Coast and I'm staying here and so it's weird, so we're doing a date night tonight. We have glasses of wine that we're drinking. We have our glasses of wine, we're making dinner. Now look. <laughs> dinner. 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 What I, are you having? Your menu nice. for me is plain pasta and cheese with garlic bread. And I'm having half a chicken breast and a bag of uh, frozen Steve. vegetables. Yes, yes. Very gourmet, very glamorous. Nothing but the best in this Nothing household. but the best in this household. This would be such a good place to set it up. What? 
I <laughs> it's so short. <laughs> we could, like, this is actually not bad. It's pretty bad. No, it's not a good angle. Was no, that that's your move that you always do the... Ow. The dinner of kings. How was your pasta with cheese kills? Oh good. So Kaylee is about to leave for the weekend. This is the first time in like three months that we spend more than 24 <laughs> hours apart. Why are you laughing? I don't know. I'm He's just sad. sad. The longest we spent apart in three months is 17 hours. We counted. I don't know what I've been doing out you, man. I actually feel really sad. I'm sad because I'm leaving you and because boys weekend's gonna be yeah Kelly's going on a boys weekend dress like this I'll dress probably like go clubbing we know I will we know I will you're going clubbing twice I'll go clubbing we know it we got it all got it. so I went out last night look we all knew I was going to but oh my god do I have some tea to tell you guys so doing these vlogs I want to like treat you guys as if my you're my I mean you are my friends you know so I want to tell y'all all the goss so that's what I'm gonna do I love going clubbing because I feel like I don't know I get a lot of messages all the time I'm like you really shouldn't post about how often you go out blah 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 you go out too much but not that I have to justify myself but I'm gonna justify myself I work from home alone five days a week like literally I'm by myself all day at home so when it comes to the weekend I want to go out I want to socialize I want to be around people so I get that on the weekend some people want to stay in amazing they want to like stay home I've been home all week I want to go out so that's why I go out but Oh my god, the drama. So last night, I actually ran into my ex's friends, which was fun. They were, they were really, sounded, that sounded petty. They were really lovely. I really liked, I hadn't met them before. They were really nice. But, oh my god, the drama. This girl, man, give me a damn headache. So, she messaged me and was like, hey, why were you rude to my friend last night? And I'm like, what? What friend? And she's like, you were rude to my friend. I'm like, mm, doesn't sound like me. She's like, yeah, everyone. All your friends are talking to them and you refuse to talk to them. And I'm like, again, doesn't sound like me. Biggest extrovert there is. I will talk to a wall. I talk to everyone. I love meeting new people, making conversations. I wouldn't have iced someone out. Like, that does not sound like me at all. So I'd like to know who this person is because I'm like racking my brains trying to think who her friend is. No idea. Spoke to all my friends. Like, no idea. So, ugh, man, just drama. Honestly, I hate drama. Like, I'm not about it. And uh, ugh, look, last night I was talking to my friends and they're like, wow, your life is crazy. And I was like, I really need to share that more in these vlogs because I normally don't. So, I'm now driving to the beach. No, I'm not. I'm driving to my friend Katie's house. We're gonna go to the beach together, which will be so much fun. I have to update her on all this tea. So windy. You're not even gonna be able to hear me, but it's so windy. But you okay when the water, look how much sand has come on our towels just from sitting here because it's insane. Kaylee's back! Had a big weekend. I had a big weekend. Weekends were hard. Weekends were hard. Just not together. Not together. We missed each other greatly. So we're going to Big W. Kaylee's letting me get one time. Halloween item because they have a Nightmare Before Christmas section and Kaylee's like, you can get You've one. You've got to be very, like, you know, particular on which one you want. It's gonna be difficult. There's wine glasses. Love a good wine glass. But we I break do, every I single smash wine, every wine glass. glass. <laughs> we break every. The Tiffany Co. one? Gone. Oh, that makes me sound like an alcoholic. I wasn't even drunk. I was No, it's it, always it when we're like sober. On a Tuesday at 1 p.m., taking it out of the dishwasher and it's smashed. And I was like, ugh. I think the pink one's broken too, isn't it? Yeah, I smashed the pink one. I think we should get the ones without stems, the wine glasses without stems. So just a glass. No, but they're like the same shape. I know I used to have them, but guess what? Smash them all. <laughs> when I first moved into my... We should just use mugs. Yeah. You know what? Water Smash bottles. a couple of mugs too. Sippy bottles. Plastic. You know what happened to my plastic we, water we, bottle? Yeah, we I put shrunk it. it in the dishwasher. I have the Sally mug, so you know I have to get one. I've already got the jack. Kaylee wants me to get this one because it was at the back, so that's what I'm going to get. What are you doing? What are you... Move aside. What's your hand? It's Sorry, cute. <laughs> Stop, it's so cute. Yeah, we don't even have room for anything in our household. It's cute though. I got the mug, so I'm sitting here drinking some tea, watching the nightmare before Christmas, and I think this is a great spot to end this vlog. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know it was more just like a chatty vlog with just Kaylee and I, but honestly, that's what a lot of my life is it's because I'm always working, so I just tried to film what I could throughout the week. So if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to let me know because I am more than happy to continue doing these. I think it's a great way to upload to this channel that doesn't take away from my main channel, you know what I mean? So let me know down below. Also, be 
be sure to follow me on social media to see even more of my content in my main channel as well. Of course, I'll have it linked down below. I love you guys so, so much. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.